paint and side skirts today. Got some new ones. These are from Unique Customs. Uh, on the website, they're about 200 quid. Uh, free postage, I think. Um, they're pretty good quality, to be fair. One of them's kind of got a little bit of a crack in it, but doesn't really matter. Um, they seem nice and strong. I've had overfenders off of them before, years ago. Probably about nine years ago, I think. On um, Maybe not that. Eight years ago. On a white E36, my first one I used to have. Um, and they were always pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got these ones because I've got a drift day coming up soon and I can't make my own ones uh, anymore at the moment so just bought these ones as it was quicker um, just to do that so I'm kind of interested to see what they look like and obviously now that I want to paint something it's, um, it's starting to rain so these are the side skirts as you can see, pretty good um, they seem nice and strong, um, pretty good quality. Uh, I think they're going to suit the bumper quite well. And these like, I don't, they they have this little lip on them, not lip, but this bit that comes out here. And when I fit them up to the car, they kind of stick out. I don't know whether you're supposed to attach these to like the twist, like M Sport side skirts or something, if they fit better, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to fit them with like, I know the sicker flex and then probably like a self tapper in either end or something. So I've been to the paint shop and well, ordered some stuff online. So I just went out to my local paint shop, got a can of gray primer. I've got this silver base coat for steel wheels. Um, so the candy, when I painted the car, it did have a silver base coat. I don't know whether this needs it. This is a candy red paint. It's not from the same company I got the car from, uh, not the car, the other paint from. The other paint is a TVR candy apple red to be specific. And this one is just a candy red. So I'm hoping it's gonna be similar enough. And then I've got these, uh, these 2K lacquer. Basically they've got a thing you pull on the bottom. So they're a, they are a hardener and your actual lacquer. So they should hopefully go off really well. I've had a few recommendations uh, from a few people on Instagram. Hugo Evans is the guy that recommended to me first. Um, he's got a pretty sick E36. Um, and I think he said he did his engine bay with it. I'm not sure either, either way, his paint's pretty cool. So hopefully it'll be hard enough that you can actually like run a polisher over it if you need to. Um, unlike, you know, like your lacquers from Halfords. Um, so I think all in all, these are about 22 pound each. I think these were, 15 pounds each and then like these were 13 quid in total so i spent about 17 quid on paint which isn't um which isn't too bad for a candy i guess um we'll see what the finish is like but yeah what i'm gonna do now is get a bit of 240 i think um and start sanding this down um prepping it for primer um, so I'm not going to overly bother with actually painting this underside, it would just be getting a bit of overspray uh, down to about here. Um, and this is just re this really, this is really just getting sort of a rough sand, this isn't going to be anything perfect, um, like show stopping quality or nothing. Okay, so this is one with a crack in, it's only really got a crack in the top coat there. Um, it hasn't really gone that much through to the back I don't think, so... I'm probably just gonna sand over it. Okay, so they're pretty much done uh, with 240. Uh, I just need to go over them with a bit of red scotch just to dull them down a bit more so we haven't got so many shiny bits on it. Um, like I said, they're gonna be rough and ready, so whatever. I got a little bit impatient and I just wanted to see whether the red would work with the silver. Um, so I just sprayed a little bit on this old bookshelf thingy. Um, and obviously excuse like the bits of shit and stuff in it, but you know what? I don't think that's actually gonna be too bad of a color match. Yeah, like that and that compared together, really ain't that bad. It's ain't so easy then on your hands and knees. Huh. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone for two cans. This one's starting to run out and you can see there's like these tiger stripes in it. Um, it's just where like it's going and then and like stopping because it's running out of pressure. So I don't know whether to go get another can. Because I want to get this on quite thick so, when I, so I can sand it back nice and smooth. Um, so it's, you know, trying to give it the best gloss as possible. Um, and obviously if I start sanding through into back into the top coat, it's probably not that great. Although, do I really care? I don't think I do. So I might just, I don't know. 
soldier on. Right, so I've run out of the can. Um, I've also moved them into the sun a bit more so they're actually gonna dry better. I've decided against getting another can because I just can't be bothered. So I think I'm just gonna give them a, a light 320 and then go in with 500. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them dry off for today because it's four o'clock, it gets dark about five now. So there's no point even trying to send it down to paint them. I'll do those tomorrow, I reckon. Okay, so I decided against, decided against not getting more primer. No, I decided against deciding against getting more primer. But I'm on my way to little like auto center thing. Um, it's a little one local to me, which is quite good. And I forgot that at four o'clock is when rush hour starts. So I'm now stuck in that. However, I'm going to go get the primer because when I was, I was sitting there looking at it and there's a few sort of like very light scuffs and stuff in it. And obviously the higher I build the primer, the higher I build the primer up, the more it's gonna hide those scratches when I come to sand it down and it will just look better. So I'm gonna go get another two cans of primer um, and that will be that'll be it for today. So once I've got the primer, no, once I put the primer on, um, I'll show you. I'll probably sand it back a little bit. Uh, I don't need to tell you this. Look what I see. Oh, you can't see it. Look, there's purple E36 with white wheels. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, there's another one in there. The sun is now out, um, which is sort of in our favour because it wasn't earlier. It was actually spitting rain a bit um, and it's quite cloudy, but the sun's out. I've already sanded these down. Um, I've power wiped them. Um, basically, I did them with a 320 grit and then a 500 grit. Um, then a little bit of scotch, but I did use red instead of grey because I didn't have any grey. Um, so I've panel wiped them. I'm just going to panel wipe them again because um, obviously, not because obviously you guys don't even know this. I had them up there doing it and I've moved them down there. So obviously my hands have now touched them. So I just want to get a bit of panel wipe over them. I've got my cans in the bucket warming up a bit um, just because they were dead cold when I got them out of the back of a drift car earlier. Let's get to sanding, uh, to painting. So we have got a couple runs in there um, and there is a few little specks of, I don't know, silicon pop in there maybe, uh, or just some sort of contamination. I'm not, I'm not really that fussed to be honest though, because they're just side skirts. Um, so yeah, the, the weather hopefully did hold out. Yeah, those 2K lacquer cans work really well. I only needed one in the end, which is good. So that means I've got some spare. These have got a, they're machine polishable within 24 hours uh, and they've got like a 60 minute cure time. So I'm gonna leave them now, come back to fit them, um, come back tomorrow and fit them. I'm going out my lady. Uh, luckily the weather's hold has held off. I can feel a little bit of rain at the moment though, maybe. Some moisture, I don't know. But I might see if I can stick them in the house without her realizing, but I don't think that'll happen. Can't really have a bad word to say about it then. It was uh, actually uh, Gemma's idea to let me put the side skirts in the house overnight and before that. Um, so they've cured off a bit better now. They've dried up 
they're still a little bit soft but i'm gonna fit them anyway literally just after i finished doing that video it did start to spit a bit so i did end up getting some there's some little speckles in the side skirts but like in the, well, you can see it there in the sunlight um but you know i ain't too bothered for a rattle can job where i didn't do that great of a prep work um it's come out pretty well so what we can do now is get onto fitting them um i've got this one already lined up obviously it's going to sit higher than that what i'm going to do is glue the back of them i don't want to use too many self-tapping screws obviously i've already got a lot of holes in it from other side skirts and previous ones i'm hoping i can get away with just doing like one either end and then just like a shitload of glue in the back so what i've bought is this pgb power grab and bond stuff um from tec i've used their products before uh their ct1 stuff I use that quite a bit at work um but this it's about 13 quid, but I think it's like a proper more of a, well, grab and bond. Um, and I don't want these to fall off. So hopefully this will work and only have to do like two, maybe three self tappers in it. So I think I need to clean off some of this here. This was like uh, sticks like shit, I think I used. Um, which, I don't know, maybe I need to rough and rough this up or clean this stuff up a bit. So that's the first one on. Um, it's come out quite well. That, um, what is it? PGB stuff, proper hard to pump out the gun. I don't know whether that's more for like trade use when you have, because you, you can get like the electric um, silicon guns and stuff. My, my cheap like Wilco two pound one just did not like it. Uh, used four um, self tap. <laughs> Skoda. Four self tappers and I just used, because the metal was really thin here, I just done a cable tie into a pre-existing hole. Um, it comes out a bit there. I'm not sure, because um, I was trying to work out how I want to actually fit these. I'm not sure whether these are meant to go on like SE side skirts, not SE, but like, like the other side skirts you get on them, because Gemma's e face, this one here, oh God, look at that, has these side skirts on and they fit over quite well uh, onto there with like, as you can see it like curves over, which is what that side skirt does. Whereas the ones I made myself, um, I done them flat so they fit in like this. Obviously they're a bit fully apart. I didn't make these out of a very strong, I, I think I chipped out, cheaped out on the fiberglass when I built these and probably didn't do enough. So if I make these again, which I'm hoping I might do, I'm gonna you know, invest in better fiberglass because that, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna rip these off and fit the other ones can actually do a little bit of a comparison in my side skirt compared to this one. Um, obviously you can see mine were a lot deeper, um, but I did keep ripping them off, so that's not that great. As you can see, mine are a bit more of a curve to them, but I'm not sure, I think, I don't know, I feel like if these had a bit more of a curve there, they'd suit my bumper a lot better than what these ones do. These ones look sh shit now. Yo quiero saber si tú te vas, mami, cuando tú quieras, cuando tú quieras, yeah, yeah. Vete, eh, eh, eh. Nadie te está aguantando y la puerta está abierta, eh. No te preocupes por nosotros dos, nuestra historia ya está muerta. Eh. Espero que seas feliz. Right, uh, yeah. Uh, so I videoed that video in August. No, not August. I videoed that video in late February to do the 
early August um, drift day at Santa Pod. It was absolutely terrible, though it rained the whole time. I think I went out about four times. The car overheated at one point, there was snow. It's now mid-August um, and I'm finally gonna upload the video and I think I should just show you the side skirts. They, um, they did last very well. See, it's gone from me wearing a jumper and trousers to shorts and t-shirt. Yeah, they lasted really well. I did hit a curb, you know, like the black and yellow curbs are out on the track, um, but it's lasted way better than my other ones have. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, stick around for more videos because I'm going to be working on Gemma's E36 now um, where she's going to want like a lot of stuff doing a, a bit similar to mine in regards to it's having over fenders and you'll see why in a sec um, but yeah it's got some like BBS wheels going on it some split wheels um, and it's gonna it's gonna look cool so we're gonna be doing a load of videos on that um, I'm sure she's gonna definitely be working on it and stuff like that as you can see these are the arches I've just finished filming a video on these arches and that'll be uploaded soon Uh, leave a comment if you want or don't it's up to you but yeah cheers guys